how I survive in the summer months living in my minivan, living in a car, living in a van, an RV. How do I keep cool? Oh my gosh. You know, it's 74 degrees and it's always about 10 degrees warmer in here because I'm partially in the sun. If I was totally in the sun, it'd probably be about 15 degrees higher. Right now, this says 82 degrees. I have 16% humidity. That's about right. <laughs> I'm in Southern Arizona and it is not quite April yet. We had a really long winter, but right now it's here. What's happening is in the afternoon, it's going to be about 80, 85 degrees. Yes. Um, so how do I stay warm? If I'm in the sun and it's going to be 10 to 15, sometimes 20 degrees higher inside my minivan, how do I survive in this? Well, I'm going to show you all the different ways that I survive. One crucial way that I survive in the summer months is I move to higher elevation. That's right. Not north, but higher elevation. If I could go north from here, I'm going to hit Phoenix. Phoenix is usually about 5, 10 degrees hotter than Tucson, Arizona. And I could, and north is Quartzsite. Quartzsite is usually about 5 degrees hotter than Tucson. So it's really elevation. So uh, what happens is a lot of nomads, van dwellers, day trippers, whatever you want to call us, even homeless people, we go to higher elevation. Some people go to Oregon. They go to Washington State. They go to Colorado. They go to Sedona. They go to Flagstaff. They go up to Utah. Yeah, you want to get up in higher elevation where it's going to be 10 to 15 degrees cooler in the summer. Now, the second way that I keep cool is this. I need to fill this up. This is my Spray Master bottle. I got this at Home Depot and it's a five year guarantee. It's going on about seven years. Now, I do have a neck gaiter on, yeah. And I do, what I do in the summer, a lot of times what I do, and I'm serious, what I do is I wear bathing suit tops. I've got quite a few and I wear them and I spray them down. And I also wear a neck gaiter because I spray that down. Oh yeah. And when I spray, well, this is sort of a mock turtleneck, but if I spray this down, yeah, this keeps my neck cool. Arm gaiters, I like to protect my skin. Why do I do that? Because as we get older in age, we're not old, but as our ages go up, our forearms have been in the sun a lot, right? Because we could wear short sleeve shirts and this is always in the sun. This part of our arm, it gets the most sun. Of course, our hands too. And as we get older, we get bumps on them. We could just bump it and there's a big bruise. Some people say, what? I just recently had somebody say, oh, what happened to your hands? If you're not, if you know, well, first of all, don't ask me stuff like that. <laughs> You know, I mean, really. Um, but that's because that's focusing on the negative of my body. You know, sometimes I can't help. We can't help our bodies in, in many ways. We can, but we can't. Certain things we can't. And, you know, maybe I should put makeup on my hands. So don't ask me about like, ooh, why are you all bruised up? Well, if you're older, you know, it's easy to get bruised up. And so this kind of protects a little bit. But here's another thing, too. I always spray them down. It's warm out. Like I said, it's about 70, 75 out there. I see, I'm cooler already. Oh, yeah. Um, I've got my shorts on. Yep, got shorts. Got my shorts out. I'm so glad I got my summer clothes out. So already I'm cooler. And I wear a lot of braids because I can just wet them down. Spray. Spray them. See, I'm cooler already. And a lot of times take off my glasses and bam, bam, I just spray. Yeah, <laughs> there. It's good to get a little spray going on. There we go. Just checking out my hair. 
checking out my face. Okay, so I don't have my door. When I shut my doors, I'll take my glasses off. My uh, The reason that, in, especially in the summer, that I wear sunglasses, you're going to say, why do you always wear sunglasses? Because this winter, I haven't had them on as much because I've been inside. But as you see me outside or having my doors open, my eyes do get sensitive to the light. Anybody that's lived in Arizona, you see them wearing sunglasses almost all the time. The sun shines almost 98% of the, of the year. The sun is shining in Southern Arizona. So our eyes do get sensitive. After a while, our eyes just say, I've had enough. And they start getting sensitive to light. So spray bottle, higher elevation. Now, because I do have, because I have sprayed myself down, this is a six inch Opolar fan. It's USB only. There's no battery in here. I've explained before. I've gotten them with batteries and Paul did too. He didn't listen to me when I, on my one video. He got the kind with the, and they're more expensive. It's a lithium battery in there, but the batteries suck. And so what happens is they work at first, but then you, what happens is you end up having to plug them in anyways, because the battery just won't hold. You, if you want your fan on all night, which I need to do, I have my fan in the summer all, all night long. I have it facing, I'll show this one in just a minute. This is a smaller one. The other one is a nine inch, it's a six inch. If you have to have it plugged in anyways, why buy the battery? I just don't. So I, it's just a, a, a USB. Let me get this plugged in. And this one, I usually park, well, let me see. Okay, but let me just turn this on. Yeah, let me see. Hi, yeah. And I, this one I might leave like back here. So it hits me this way, right? But here in the front, this is where this in the summer, this is this is actually usually on in the summer. Let me turn this on high. This one, yeah, this is a nine inch. This blows a little bit better. Now my bed goes here, right? So I sleep this way. So in the summer, I kind of point this down and this blows on me all night long yeah and a lot of times in the summer I just sleep with a sheet I sleep on top of my uh, sleeping bag and I'll show you that tomorrow but I just have a sheet on and if it's really 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 hot sometimes I'll wet my sheet down yeah so this is another way like I feel cool already because right now it's hitting my arm gaiters yeah so I feel really cool in here it's 82 degrees and I'm really cool okay the next way that I keep cool and I keep my lithium batteries cool. Oh yeah, because look at this. This is a Jackery and down here's a Jackery, but I want to show you this and this. These are like chill pads. Well, this is a brand name, Chill Pad, but they have, it's a polymar kind of a, it's a new substance to where it's like cardboard when it's dry, but when it's wet, it holds a lot of water without it dripping down. So what I do, I'm going to show you, I'm going to get these wet and I'm going to just going to lay it over the top of my Jackery's. Why would I do that? Because uh, lithium batteries, the biggest destroyer of lithium batteries is heat. It will destroy and it bring the life down, life cycle down. So I need to keep these cool. So this is sort of like a, for me, this is sort of like an evaporative type cool, cooler, which in Arizona, I don't know if you know what those are. Evaporative, they call it, this, they, a lot of people call them swamp coolers, but it's a uh, evaporative cooler. Most people, a lot of people have them still on their roofs. A lot of people have gone, which is kind of a shame because it uses a lot of the grid. Um, they use air conditioning and that takes a lot of electricity and it's costly. But the old swamp coolers are usually on the roof. And what it is, is a contained cage. It's metal. 
and there's grates that go in it. There's a huge fan inside with spiders that bring water up. So they bring a, a line of water and it and it keeps the spiders kind of dripping water on these pads that go in their pads. There's a motorcycle out here that just keeps going around and around. Is he learning to ride his motorcycle? Okay, now he looks like he's leaving. He just kept going around, I don't know. <laughs> or it's, I'm at a park. Um, it's a different park. I've never been here before. So this is sort of, and what it works on is it blows air in. So it's blowing, it's sucking air, it's sucking the moisture, and it's blowing into your home. And it can keep, you know, in some respects, that was the only thing I had in my homes was a, a swamp cooler. And that's how I stayed cool in the summer in my home. Is he done? There he goes. Bye, Mr. Motorcycle. It's a nice motorcycle. I'm kind of in a ritzy part of town here. <laughs> Even the tennis court has a windsock on it. <laughs> As Paul, Paul, Paul said, you know, you know you're in the ritzy part when they, even a tennis court has a windsock going, you know, <laughs> so you can see, oh, which way is the ball going to go? So these, this works sort of like a swamp cooler. Okay. So I'm going to show you here what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how this works. Now, this is a chill pad, okay? This one is a different brand, and I don't like it as well. What what kind is it? It's, um, oh, well, I can't really. Aquas, aqua snap. This is an aqua snap. I didn't even know the name of it. Okay, so I use my thing, my bucket, my collapsible bucket. And I get some water in here. So in the meantime, and it has to soak up. It takes a while to soak it up. Let's get this. Okay, so. Sometimes it's good to open them up and put it back in the water. I should just do one at a time. Okay, this one's pretty good. Let me get to the other one down. So what I do, I wring it out. There we go. A little bit more. So this now has changed its shape. You can see a little bit dry spots on here. So what I do is, see, it's not dripping, it's holding water. Now in the, if it's really hot, which it is today, it's gonna be hot, I have to redo this. A lot of times what I do, instead of dunking it again, I pull it off and I kind of start spraying it down a little bit, yeah. So what I do is I kind of fold it over halfway. There we go, halfway. And I just, there we go. Flip it over. There we go. See, now air will fall through and it will keep this cooler. And I've got it kind of hanging down in the back. But it can still breathe. See, it's got that going on. And here's one of the problem. Here's one of the problems with summertime. In the winter, I can keep these going big time. Because... With my solar on my roof, if it's cold, I can park in the sun. It doesn't matter, morning and afternoon. But in the summer, it's hot to park in the sun. So I don't get as much power in going in here. Sometimes I actually have to put a solar panel out. Or I just have to grin and bear it, go park in the sun, go to the park, get out of my van, and get out of here. Right? So this is what I got the chill pads for. I want to show you, I did buy, and then I I do the same thing with this one too. And I put it on this one over here. And I tried to leave this on all day because, you know, it's going to be hot in here.
There we go. Now, I just flip that over. Now, sometimes I usually have this here. And what happens is my three bins usually lay right here. But sometimes what I do, if I'm going to go and I want to leave my phone in, and I've got, because I've got two phones, I kind of take my phone, put it there, and put this over it, yeah. That way it keeps it cool. Now you might, you might say, well, yeah, but what about the moisture? Won't that get in? It's 16% moisture right now. Now, when it rains, here's the thing with the swamp cooler. When it rains, the swamp coolers don't work very well because it's got to work with dry air. If it's really moist air, it really doesn't work too well. So, yeah, if it's, if it's really, really hot out or it's really dry, these work great, spraying down. So I did buy two more. They're not that expensive. They were only $11 a piece. This is a chill pad. It's a brand name, the chill pad. Now, it comes in a nice little case that you could put water in here and then you could leave it, um, you know, let it soak up. I haven't used these yet, but I wanted one more for anything else that I felt like, you know, maybe there's some other area I want to keep cool just in case. Because I really find I have to use these two all the time, so I thought having two more would be pretty good, right? The reason I didn't mention, I was going to tell you, the reason I don't like this one is because I noticed that when I when I wring it out and everything, it puts off little particles where the chill pad doesn't. So I don't, I recommend getting chill pad as your, as the brand. And I'll leave the link for that. But I wanted even an extra one because when I'm sitting back here, and I'm editing a video. I don't want to be outside. I don't want to be outside. I can't be outside all the time. But I want to be in here. And it is getting a little warm. I will wet this down. And I can take it. Let's see. Take it and just kind of put it over my legs. It really works. Oh my gosh. Some people what they do is they put it around their neck. Yeah, I mean, I could do that too. If it was really hot, that's what I would do if I'm in here. So I've got the chill pads that I can cool myself down and anything else that needs to be cooled down. Let me put this back in here. Just a nice place to keep it. And I've got the spray bottle. I've got the fans. And I've got higher elevation, right? And I would put your hair in braids, wear bathing suits, just wet yourself down. Wet it down. <laughs> yeah. Just go ahead and wet yourself down. Yeah, this actually feels really good. And I can't imagine two weeks ago doing that because it was cold. But here's what else I do. Well, <laughs> before I tell you that, sometimes I actually shut everything up and turn on my air conditioner. <laughs> And cool it down just for a little bit. You know, like, ah, yeah. Um, so what else do I do? Sometimes I need to open my windows. But if I'm traveling solo and I'm in the city, I would be a little uncomfortable just having my windows down. Paul does because he's got Abby there and he's sitting right there in the front. Well, I'm usually back here. So opening my windows, I would, I'm uncomfortable with that. So here's what I do. What I do is, let me do it. I, um, I do both of my windows. I roll them down just a little bit. There we go. See, now I've got this open. I do the same to the other side. Then I can get a cross flow going. And people aren't so apt to just look and stick in their hand in there. So that's how I keep cool in the summer months living in a vehicle. Let me get this back up. Okay, I've got... If, I, if this is facing the sun, I will bring this down just to keep the heat out, right? These are blackout 
well, they're gray blackout curtains. I keep my shade. I keep my shade on my window. Of course, I keep that on all the time. One, one thing I was kind of surprised about going back east, because I hadn't been back east when the first time I went back east. I haven't been back there for like 40 years. And I was surprised a lot of people don't have the shades up on their windshields in Arizona. In the summer and even in the winter, everybody puts up their shades. Otherwise, their car is ruined. Their dashboard is cracked. That sun is devastating. Another thing, too, to keep cool, when you get outside, you got to wear a hat. That sun is going to strip your hair. It just is. It's going to strip your hair. So that's how I keep cool <laughs> in the summer. So it's a beautiful day though outside, but being outside, I'm telling you another way to uh, really survive in the summer in uh, with the sun shining, you must wear sunblock. Don't just put sunscreen on because you need to reapply it. And it, use, it, it works with chemicals. That's why they say you need to keep it on for 15 minutes before you go outside because it's got to soak into your skin. That sounds bad. <laughs> so sunblock works with minerals and it literally blocks the sun. So you need to put that on. Already I can tell I'm getting a little bit. I'm not good. I don't, I know a lot of you don't. I don't worry about tanning. I get enough tanning going on. I don't sit out and think, oh, I need a tan. No, I don't worry about that at all. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's summer. Summer's coming. Well, summer is here, almost, in southern Arizona. And it probably, within a couple of weeks, it's going to get up to 90 degrees. By May, mid-May, mid it'll get up to probably about 100 degrees by then. They always have, there's, in Tucson, they always have like this... Um, this contest of who can pick the day that it's going to reach 100 degrees. And here's another, thank you, Paul, for this, because I don't have mine. But here's another thing I do want to mention. It's a Geniani, and it is a humidifier. When you're in southern Arizona, you really need the moisture going on in here. And it will keep you cooler, and it will keep you breathing better, too. It'll work, it works better with your skin. Now, Paul said he's never used his. But let's see what this is. A Geniani. It's a humidifier. And it has a light on it, too. See, it's got... You do... Is you fill this up with water. And there's a straw that you put in here. Do you want me to fix this up for you or no? I'm going to use it. So yeah, so right let's... Ahead. There, here's a straw. Things are sticking. See this twist off. You pull this out. You just stick this in here. Oh, it already has. It already it has, has a spare. It has a spare. Why is it sticking in there? Okay. There we go. Twist that back on. Fill this up with water. Just. Glue it on. He still got you. Still got your thing on there, but it has to be plugged in. There's no battery, which is actually good. You don't want that to wear out. And you plug this in. It has to be plugged in. And then I think it's got. You turn it on. You can make it come out. You can make the light come on. You have to read the instructions. But I really like this brand, Geniani, and just set it somewhere. Um, there can end up with water condensation on the bottom. So be careful where you set it. I always just, most of my landings are plastic anyway, so I don't really care. There you go. So this is another way to keep cool. I think I've covered most of them other than put an air conditioner in your minivan, you know, or your van or your RV. I've heard of people actually putting and running air conditioners um, in their van that put it in. But they have, you would have to have a lot of good solar in order to do that. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Yay, you got to keep cool, you know.
keep cool. We know we're all cool, aren't we? <laughs> I know Paul's cool. I'm cool. And don't forget the Cool Kids Club. Minivan leads this Nomad Life Facebook group. We're the Cool Kids Club. <sighs> Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Got the book. You got to you gotta get them list if you're going to live the life. Go to minivanlee.com for all the neck gaiters. Don't, don't forget about neck gaiters because it's not winter. I wear neck gaiters 24, you know, all, all, all 24 months I wear them. No, all 12 months I wear neck gaiters because I can keep, in fact, it's still wet. This is a little bit drier, but this material stays wet longer. So stay cool, everybody. Till tomorrow. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. This is at the Cincinnati Zoo. These tigers are all triplets. They're females, somewhat young at the time. The dots on the glass save birds from flying into it. I would go to see the tigers quite a bit, but they were rarely out. This was a rare encounter with the tigers. See that little girl standing there? Watch what this tiger does, watch. He sees her. <laughs> this was an awesome encounter. Look at, she's backing away even. He's looking right at her. She must look very yummy. Look at those teeth. <laughs> this one's looking right at me. And now you. They're gorgeous.